Everybody knows what the boot camp is when a person goes into the U.S. military. In fact, there's now television shows about boot camp. You can read books about boot camp. You can go to marriage boot camp, weight losing boot camp, stop smoking boot camp, and the whole list of boot camps. But have you thought about implementing a boot camp in a restaurant? Have you thought about why a boot camp works? Let me tell you what the U U.S. military does, because I love the U.S. military way of leadership. What they do is they take some kid who, in a lot of cases, snot-nosed 18-year-old kid who literally no one else wants. Oh, this kid's never going to amount to anything. He's stolen an item or two, or he's told somebody to screw off, or he's got a temperament, or he doesn't listen, he doesn't stand up straight, he slouches, he shows up late, he doesn't care, his grades were bad. And the U.S. military says, ooh, I'll take you. And the kid comes in. And right out of the chute, the U.S. military says, this is how you're going to act, this is what you're going to do. And if you don't do it, we're going to break you down and build you back up over and over and over and over until you do it. They're pouring commitment into this kid. They're pouring passion. It's amazing because, of course, we all know U.S. Marines. This kid, six weeks ago, eight weeks ago, ten weeks ago, was a member of society that, oh, he's never going to amount to anything. And we're going to break this kid down, and now you say to the kid, well, what are you? Oh, Marine! I mean, they're happy as can be. They're proud as can be. And then we give them multi-million dollar pieces of equipment. Now, last week, before they got in boot camp, we wouldn't let them use our lawnmower. We didn't think the guy could handle the fryer, so there's no way he's going to work the fryer. No way. Cash register? Are you crazy? I got $110 in that cash register. I am not letting this kid use the cash register. And the U.S. military is giving him millions of dollars of pieces of equipment. Millions of dollars of training. And in weeks. I'm a Marine. He's proud as can be. Then you see the kid in the airport. And it's, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Opening doors for people. Helping people put their luggage up in the luggage bin. I see full grown men. 40, 50, 30 year old full grown men won't help a lady put her luggage up in a luggage bin. But this 18-year-old kid who weeks before couldn't use the cash register or your lawnmower, he gets up from his seat and he puts the lady's luggage in the luggage bin. This is the same kid. Why does that work? Well, I'll tell you the U.S. military, number one, is highly intense. Number two, these kids are looking at their leaders and saying their leaders aren't screwing around. These guys are serious. Number three, the leader actually day-to-day -day leads. Interesting, the U.S. military is one of the only militaries in the world where the leaders are out front of the military. Most militaries around the world, the leaders are in the back. U.S. military, our leaders are in the front. What does that say to the people that are following them? Well, so think about that from the restaurant business. If a manager spends his life sitting in an office, if an executive hasn't been out to the restaurants for weeks and months, is it the fact that the kid doesn't have the skill set to run the cash register, 
or is it the fact that the kid doesn't respect their leader? Is it really that, oh, there's no good kids? Work ethic in this country is miserable. No, the work ethic in this country is not miserable. The leadership in this country is miserable. The U.S. military can prove to you that the work ethic, the work ethic in this country is great. And I'll tell you, the great running restaurants can prove to you that the kids working in restaurants, in great running restaurants, the work ethic is great. Chances are pretty good if you're running a bad restaurant then the work ethic is not very good. But it's not because of the kids. It's not because of the employee. It's because of the leadership of the people that are supposed to be leading them, sitting in the office, not out front.